we live in the Anthropocene and in a time of ecological crisis. We need to overcome anthropocentrism and create new ways of thinking and new conceptualizations about the biosphere in which human and non-human life, inner objects and technological devices are entangled. The eternal recurrence of the old questions return to us. What is life? What is technology? During the 20th century, we learned that technology is not just an activity or product of the human being. It is our origin. We know the story. This is the narrative of Derrida, Stiegler and Schlotterdijk. The prosthetic becoming of a negative and interrupted human being. This is the story of anthropotechnics and anthropogenesis in the hominization process. But... Stop! Another story is possible. A story in which all forms of life unfold technically and have thoughts. Moore's Capitalocene, Haraway's Tulocene, Lovelock's Novacene, or Stigler's Neganthropocene are ways to face the Anthropocene and telling another story about living things and technology. The eruption of Gaia is another possibility to think our biosphere by other means. Like Stengers, we want to think with Whitehead. But, for us, life is not just a slow affair. Life is the name for originality and not for tradition. Deceleration is not the only way to fight against the Anthropocene and anthropocentrism. But nature is a dark ecology or the pure acceleration of transhumanism. Here is the hidden dichotomy that crosses the current ecological thought. On the one hand, the vitalist immanentism that prescribes deceleration and lock it down in the air. On the other, a spectral transcendentalism that blindly trusts in the acceleration of technology. Therefore, we need an alternative. Because these two movements are inherent in life. These movements are two metastable operations that always return in their becoming. The eternal recurrence of this life movement is what analyzes untimely ecology. <laughs> <laughs>